Hello, welcome back to my channel. It has been a crazy few weeks at work. I have been mentally and physically just exhausted. Plus with Christmas and everything, it was just, it was a time, okay? But I am here today and we are going to do a big Kmart haul with a huge pile of goodies that I was saving to do a video with in December. So we're here now, that's what matters. Let's talk about Kmart stuff. Plus now that I've laid it out, it's really not as much as I thought. I thought I had so much more. I've probably got something put in some random spot that I've lost, but nevertheless, we're gonna start and go through everything today. I have a drink, grab a drink. It is hot, very hot today. So before I show you all the Kmart goodies that I've got, I have to, have to show you some of these plants that we got given. I am so excited still, it's been weeks and I'm still so excited, but Evan was doing some work at a lady's house and they are moving and she gave us so many plants. I cannot even, just even, I can't. So these are two of them. I vaguely, there's dog hair on them already, but we've had them for a while. But anyway, these are two. This is another one. They all have new growth coming and it's so exciting. And this one, this one, you can't really, hang on. Look at that, this big giant baby. I have a, my Monstera, like my original Monstera, he's here too. And look, she has a new leaf as well. Anyway, but look at this. This is amazing. This is a new leaf. She's got two more new leaves up there. She's huge. So exciting. Anyco, we got some new plants from this lady and I am obviously not gonna share her name on the internet because it's the internet. But if she does happen to watch this, thank you so much. It was so nice and it was so sweet of you. I, 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 I don't have words, but I'm so excited. This is my new favorite plant. It's, she is beautiful. I love them. I love them so, 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 so very much. I also got new plants for Christmas too. I got ooh, this huge boy with a little, little new red leaf growing in there. And where is it? This guy, this little one. These are cute too. They're adorable. Got a new little baby up there too. We got a lot of plants going on. I don't know how this happened. I did my plant haul a few months ago um, it was probably like six months, maybe, I don't know. And now I have a jungle. <laughs> I guess this is just what happens. You get one plant. This is my first plant. My baby, my Monstera. Um, and now I'm a plant mother. Um, I'm still a dog mummy. Yeah, still a dog mummy. Anyway, plant excitement aside, let's talk some Kmart stuff. Let's do boring stuff first. So, super duper boring stuff. Coat hangers. Kai's having a drink. Good boy. Coat hangers. <laughs> so, we get them in the eight packs. They do have a big, like, pack thing of them. Um, but they are a little touch smaller and Evan and I, Evan? <laughs> Evan and I are both quite tall. Um, Evan is super tall. So we prefer the bigger ones. I prefer the bigger ones because it just sits our clothes way nicer on these ones than the little small ones. I like the black ones with the velvet because it holds the clothes better. They do sometimes snap on this bit quite easily, um, but we, don't use that bit. I don't know what that bit's even for. So really, can you stop sniffing the plant? Thank you. Anyway, <laughs> coat hangers. Second boring thing is a dog clean up bag clip. These things are quite clever. Um, they, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this off. No, I need scissors to cut the little strips. What are they called? Zip ties. <laughs> Anyway, um, these are little thingies that if you collect your dog's poop, 
which you should if you don't collect your dog's poop on walks, you're a bad person. But anyway, when you collect your dog's poop, you push it into this little X up here and it holds the poop for you on their leash so you don't have to walk around holding a bag of poop, um, which is nice and handy. Our dogs very rarely go to the toilet on walks, but if they do, we got this. So yeah, what's it called? Dog clean up bag clip, rolls off the tongue. Another lip balm, always get more lip balms. You guys know this, this is the one that I like. Um, I lost my car one, so replacement car one. I also have three diaries of a sort. This is a 2021 diary MTV. Um, it's just a big diary with each month as one uh, page. So I thought this would be quite helpful for YouTube to try and keep me on track with things like that so I can look at an entire month in one go. I never look at these pages at the start, but it's got a monthly, what is it? Monthly goals and monthly to do, and then also obviously the days. But I thought this would be quite handy for YouTube to kind of keep me on track. Um, and hopefully I won't have to miss uploads or let my like mental health take over my life because I'm going to be organized this year. Organization. We're on top of that. <laughs> Speaking of another diary, this one I saw on Zisha's Kmart video where she did diary planner things. Um, and she bought one for her friend, I think, and then also one for herself. And I saw this one and I was like, holy fuck, that is beautiful. And it is, it is beautiful. The fake leather feels so nice. And then the diary inside is actually really, really nice too. It's very pretty. And then you've got all of the months um, and it's laid out in weeks, which I also like because I feel like if I can see the whole of something, my brain works a bit better. Um, and also to-do lists. We love to-do lists. I like checking things off. Can you not move my camera? Good boy. Oh my God, he looks so cute. He's doing this. You adorable. <laughs> Anywho, I like to check things off to-do lists. So hopefully this one will be good for like personal work, general life, and then YouTube. So that's my plan for those two. I also have my just general plain visual art diary, which these you guys know I like to use as notebooks because I love the paper. I love the plain no line paper and the fact that it's thicker. This is what I prefer to write in. Um, so yeah, I got another one of these because I pick these up all the time. Another thing that was inspired by Z Sharp that I finally got my hands on was this, the glass semicircle paperweight. It is so beautiful. I don't think I'm going to use it as paperweight. I might for all my papers. I don't know, bills. We don't get many bills in paper anymore. But anyway, look how pretty. It's so nice. This was difficult to find. Um, I don't even know if I'm in camera anymore because he moved. Ooh. Anyhow, it was so difficult to find. I kind of just kept an eye out every time I went in store and then I eventually found one and there was about six on the shelf maybe and it's just so pretty and I love the way like plants look through it which is kind of a weird observation. I have a mirror behind my phone which is what I'm looking at when I'm trying to get the thing but like it just looks cool with green coming through it and the light hits it really pretty and it's just nice and it's not too pink for me, which is good. I know that is one thing that Zisha loves. She loves pink. I'm not as into pink as Zisha, but I think this is beautiful nonetheless and I love it. I'm gonna put it right here. Ooh. That is not how I would style it, but that's where it's gonna sit for now. Another thing that I got that I probably didn't need, although I'm always needing them at the moment, is another pot. This is just a plastic, I think it was an outdoor one. It's the 12 centimeter sage plastic pot. It's a, just a pretty cute green color. Um, these ones, it doesn't have holes, but these ones are good to put like plastic pots in um, to kind of hide them. That one doesn't really work. It's not a good size. There is a little bug floating around near the camera. Sorry if he's been buzzing around. Um, but anyway, the, this is not the pot. <laughs> This is the pot. Um, these are just handy to have to put other pots inside of just to hide the ugly like nursery pot and make it look more pretty. So cute little green pot. Continuing on our boring thread of things, I got these two lunch boxes. 
Um, I'm trying to make Evan and I lunch a bit more often so that we stop buying things. That bug is still floating around on the camera. Stop it. Hey, you. <laughs> I'm trying to make us lunch more often so that we stop buying lunch every day because that adds up very quickly and we want to renovate the laundry. So I got these um, lunch boxes. They have three sections. It's called the Click Three Section Food Box. Very straightforward, very kmart -y name. But anyway, what I liked about these was that the sections are not tiny. Like they are quite huge, so you can actually fit a sandwich in there or two um, and like a decent amount of fruit or whatever in your little snack bits. Um, but yeah, so I got two, one for each of us so that we can both take food to work and stop spending unnecessary money. Another more kitcheny kind of one is this gorgeous little, little, it's not little, it's huge. Um, it's a glass jug. So it's the Curve glass jug. I think this was more of a Christmas or like summer kind of item. Um, but we just, I wanted a glass jar for drinks if we have a barbecue or people over or whatever. So I got this one because it's interesting, it's not boring, and I think I saw it on an, on somebody's Instagram, maybe even Kmart's Instagram, and it was just styled really nicely on the table. So I got this one. I will keep it in the box until we have people over. I don't want to use it all the time because knowing me, it will break and I don't want to break it. So it's living in the box for now, but they've got like red stuff, orange stuff in the pictures. But yeah, this is just a nice, simple, but also interesting glass jar. My last section is some crafty things, which I'm very excited about. To start off, I will show you this one. Um, this is the little embroidery kit that I originally wanted. I think in one of my last videos, I showed you guys a, was it a punch needle kit or something? Um, that had a different print on it, but this is the one that I actually wanted. And in that video, I told you guys that I couldn't get it and then I ended up finding it. So now I have both. <laughs> so long story short, another little crafty thing for me to do um, one evening. So yeah, I think this one is gorgeous. And I, the main reason I was drawn to this one is because of the Monstera, which as I said earlier, was my first plant. And I love this one. And I love this one. So that's the theme that we go with. Happiness is what we are bringing with us into 2022. The next things I got are three of the same thing, but in different colors. So I grabbed each of their clays. They have earthy tones, neutral tones and pink tones as well. Um, and I just thought it would be fun to start exploring with these things. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram just making little trinkets, little dishes, like earrings and stuff like that. I do not think I will have that kind of skill. Although I did grab jewelry wire, which was probably a bit ambitious of me, but I grabbed some jewelry wire in case I end up making something that needs wire. But well, I've shown you that now so that I can go there. But anyway, I grabbed these three clays. So these are the oven bake ones. So you make whatever you want, make it, create it, do whatever. And then you pop it in the oven for 15 to 30 minutes. Um, and I just love all the colors. I think that the, these two are my favorite, the pink ones and the neutral ones. These are both gorgeous. And then the earthy ones are very pretty as well. But I, I just love the selection of colors that we have here and I am excited to make some goodies. So I got those. I did pick those up, like all three of them, I got on different trips because they were sold out quite a lot. So I kind of had to keep my eyes peeled for the colors that I was after. And eventually I got my hands on all of them. I don't think they have any more. I think those are the only three that they have. But anyway. To go with those, I grabbed another craft cutter. I do have, well, I've had in the past a couple of these. I don't think I have any left anymore. So I grabbed this just in case I wanted to do some more like delicate or specific kind of cuts. Um, and I can get out my, I've got a big like craft board thing that you can chop stuff on. I have one of them so I can get that out to use with my clay experimentation. So I'm excited for that. Another thing I grabbed to go along with the clay is this giant roll of cork. <laughs> it is literally called a cork roll. Um, I, the idea that I had behind this was that if I ended up making something like a coaster or a little dish, I can chop up some pieces of cork and put that on the bottom so then it doesn't end up scratching any surfaces. 
um, of anything that I do end up making if anything that I end up making is nice enough to keep out. So we will see, but if it is, I have some cork to make it safe for our surfaces. So, cork roll. The final three things are all the same, just in various sizes. So I have wooden beads in the large size and the small size. There is 30 in the small one. And then I have 30 of these. Um, they are 15 in each pack. But I grabbed these and I I know I had an idea when I grabbed them. I think it may have been to go on the wire ring that I got, uh, that I wanted to make a Christmas wreath out of. I did not have time. I have not had time to breathe in the past few weeks. So I'm really sad and disappointed with myself that I didn't have time to make that. But I'm pretty sure that was the purpose behind buying these beads. So I may still do that throughout the year because you don't have to only make Christmas things at Christmas time. You can make them whenever the heck you want. So whenever I get time, <laughs> I will be making that wreath because Christmas comes every year. So I will make it so that I can use it next year. That is my plan. But anyway. That is the point of these beads. The image that I have in my head had like beads and then like eucalyptus and like nice like Australian kind of fauna. Um, fauna? Flora. Flora? I don't know. Leaves. Anyway, <laughs> so that was the idea behind these beads. So yeah, that is it for now. I hope everyone had a really safe and happy past couple of weeks, whether you celebrate Christmas or whatever you did for New Year's. I hope you had a good time. Ours is very relaxing and I needed that for my soul. It was just necessary. It's been a very busy month and my brain just needs some like chill time. <laughs> so that's been great. I am going to leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you would like to see from me in the new year down in the comments. I would love your input and follow me over on Instagram so we can chat a bit more one on one. And I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your new years, even though that won't be relevant. But anyway, enjoy your new years. Have a wonderful weekend. We are going to go for a one of these with the dogs soon. So I am going to go. I hope you are happy. I don't know how to end videos anymore. Apparently it's been like three weeks. Anyway, bye guys. <laughs>